Mellon says it was consensual, even telling cops it was Abby who asked for rough sex. People who didn't know me, people who knew him, said horrible, horrible things about me. What did they say? They would call me a whore. They would say that I was a liar, that I was crazy, that I was insecure, that I was making it up for attention. Abby's case becomes a tragic story of she said, he said, until this phone call secretly recorded by two of Daniel's frat brothers derails it. Now, did you guys have sexual sex or was it yeah. you did? Mm -hmm. I know there was a local paper here that described the word as consexual, which honestly is really how it sounds. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely did not hear it as consensual. consensual. Abby says she didn't understand the muffled question, but cops hear a clear confession. So this seems to you like it was scripted or else somebody told them these are the questions you need to ask, you know, maybe show some sort of concern, but we need to get this out of her. Yes, which... Obviously, I had no idea that that was their intention. Daniel is released from custody. Abby is crushed. Then a stunning revelation. Another female student contacts Abby and says Daniel raped her too. This man is a cold, calculated predator. Correct. Lieutenant Kevin Randolph and Abby learn there may be even more victims out there. Numbers of victims that, that run at least into the double digits. But tragically, not one of the young women are willing to testify against Drill Mellon. The information that I was getting was that they were all terrified. They're all terrified of this guy. Um, he had wealthy parents. He was very well connected. It appears Daniel will get away with it again. And then one of the victims changes her mind. She came into the police department with a friend the friend had also been sexually assaulted by Daniel Drummellum and said, I'd like to re make a report, and so would my friend. You took all three of these cases. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of things that were similar. Very much so. And he has victimized these three women mm -hmm. and likely countless others. Correct. Yeah, he is a serial rapist. I have no doubt in my mind. The Hennepin County prosecutors finally agree to charge Daniel Drill Mellon, but there was just one more problem. She called me and she was a wreck at the time and said, he has left the country, we're never gonna get him. His social media went down. He, he had been a very prolific poster on social media prior to that and it all stopped. Lieutenant Randolph finally tracks Daniel down halfway around the world. Daniel Dromellum was living in Brisbane, uh, Australia. And I really did think that he was just going to be gone forever. But Lieutenant Randolph was determined to get Daniel, no matter how long it took. At this point, it's, it's late November, uh, early December, when we finally get this pulled together. I suspect he's gonna come home for Christmas. And you were right. I was right. Lieutenant Randolph executed the greatest takedown of his career. We got notified that he had booked tickets for Christmas Eve, December 24th. So I teamed up with the airport police, and when his plane pulled up to the airport, we were riding on the jetway, and as soon as they opened the door, I had three uniformed officers with me. We said, everybody, take your seats. We walked onto the plane, walked down the aisle to his seat, said, Daniel Drell Mellum, stand up, you're under arrest for sexual assault. Do you remember the look on his face? <laughs> yeah, uh, just dead shock. Walked out, got on the phone, dialed uh, Abby and said, hey, I've, I've got a Christmas present for you. Daniel pleaded guilty to two felony counts of third-degree criminal sexual conduct and was sentenced to six years behind bars. His two fraternity brothers who secretly recorded that phone call were never charged. Did you get justice? I think that in an ideal world, he would have gone to prison for a much longer time, especially considering that he was a serial rapist. But at the end of the day, I know it was the right thing to do. And I know that hopefully speaking out will make a difference for other people.